Hey, what's up, you guys? I know it's been freaking forever since I've made any kind of video, and I'm going to kind of make a updatey video soon about that, I think. Um, but I did just get something special in the mail, so I wanted to show it to you guys. Uh, and it's this month's Ipsy bag. No word has come out on, like, tracking numbers or anything like that, so I was really caught off guard when this showed up in my mailbox. Um... But regardless, let's just kind of jump on in. This is the Ipsy bag for March 2015. Um, Ipsy is a $10 a month subscription service where you can get uh, about five either full-size or deluxe-size samples of beauty products. So if you want to sign up for it yourself, I'll leave my link in the description down below. Um, it's like your period butt beautiful. I always like saying that for uh, the promos, I guess, for the bag. Um, and they come in this cute little pink mailer. So everything's out of here. Um, this is what the bag looks like. It's blue. It's got these pink and yellow kind of flowery patterns on it. I think it's pretty cute. Um, it's not really, you know, like the best design bag in my opinion, but I think it is super cute. And it's like this light blue on the other side. Perfect for spring. Um, and the theme this month is Floral Fantasy by Ipsy, and so you have four Ipsy stylists there, um, and it says, this is what flower power looks like. Wake up your imagination with a crazy, beautiful explosion of flowers, vivid shades, and inviting textures collide this March. Let the blooms begin. And then, of course, as usual, it tells you how to win a one-year subscription to the Glam Bag. And then it also tells you who these four are with, like, links to their Twitters and things like that. Um, the first thing is actually not in the bag, and this is from Laneige. Um, I have seen people get samples of these before, but I've never actually got one myself. It's the BB Cushion. Um, so, it looks like you get a little puff with three colors of BB creams. You get a light, medium, and a dark. And I guess you just kind of dip the puff in and apply it. Um, yeah. It says, the patented air cushion distributes just the right amount of makeup. The antimicrobial anti puff puts you in control to prime and perfect your complexion um, with no buildup or bother. And then it has, like, five different, like, claims about the... BB cream here. It's really interesting. I don't want to open it because there's no way to reseal it, um, but I think it is cool that they give you the three different shades, so no matter what your skin tone is, this can apply to you, um, but it also kind of, I don't know, it kind of sucks because you get so much product, but only, you know, like one shade applies and you have to just throw the rest away or whatever, um, but I'll probably wind up using the light shade for sure, and then Maybe trying out the medium. The dark is probably way too dark. Um, but yeah, this is kind of interesting. Um, and you can get it at Target, it says. So it is kind of an affordable plot product, it seems, as well, which is cool. So let's open up the bag. Uh, the first two things are from Skin Iceland, and these are Hydro Cool Firming Eye Gels. Um, so they help firm and depuff your eyes uh, in 10 minutes, it says. They're just like little pads, I think, that you kind of apply in this area, and it kind of just helps depuff your eyes. I've heard about things like this. I've never actually used them. Um, but yeah, you kind of just stick them to your under eye area, and then, uh, yeah, they're disposable. You get two of them. I think it's kind of cool. I also am not a super fan of, like, foil packety things, but, I mean, how else would you really, you know, get these? I don't know. There wouldn't be my first choice of things to get, but they are kind of cool. It's all about trying new things, right? Uh, the next thing is from Coolway. This is the Glow Oil Treatment uh, for Shiny Hydrated Hair. Um, so basically you just, it says you just kind of put this in your hair, uh, either when it's wet or dry to just kind of give it some nice shine and hydration, uh, which is cool because that's 
you know, always something that I need. Uh, let's open it. Why is this all... I don't know why this is, like, up like that. If it's supposed to be, or if it comes down. I don't know. Kind of weird. I don't know why that's, like, up like that. I feel like you should... You couldn't push it down or something. Oh! It's like a squeezy. Okay. So this is the squeezy part. Okay. I just opened the squeezy thing and now everything is everywhere. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's see here. It's like a thicker, oily texture. Um which makes sense if you're applying some shine. It kind of has a similar feeling as to like a Moroccan oil or an ar like an argon oil. Um, let me just kind of put the cat back on here. But uh, yeah, interesting. I'll be excited to try it. I'm always kind of game for like smoothing hair products or like straightening hair products. Uh, so this might be something kind of cool that I can actually use. Uh, the next thing is a Mary Kay at Play uh, eye crayon in the color Teal Me More. Um, I've never used anything from Mary Kay. Uh, well, actually, I have used stuff, but not, not from the Mary Kay at Play line, which I think is like Mary Kay's attempt at, you know, appealing to the youth. Uh by giving their packaging cool, like, at symbols and making things cool colors. Uh, but this is just a teal shade. Um, again, it's called Teal Me More. And... Kind of see, it's real creamy, and it's not very pigmented. Like, I had to go over that a lot to get it to that pigmentation. Um, but I think maybe it's good, especially for a color like this, where you might not want a straight up, like, blue color uh, on your eye. You might just want, like, a little bit of wash of color. Um, I don't know. I'll have to play around with this. I'm not a big fan of the shade because I just, I don't wear teal eyeshadow that often. Um, but it is kind of cool to get a full-size product. And especially from a brand that I've never, I don't have a lot of experience with. Okay, and the last product I'm really excited about. The color, I don't know, um, but I've always kind of been curious about this line. Uh, and these are the NYX Butter Lipsticks. Um, this is in the shade Hunk, and it's just like a plummy purple shade. So it's really dark. I'm going to probably put it on right now just to kind of see what it looks like. Uh, it'll look really weird because I don't have any other makeup on, so it'll look like super dark lips and then just, like, nothing else. Um, but, yeah, I've been really curious. A lot of people rave about these, so I'm just going to put it on and see. It's real smooth. I really like the way that it applies. And honestly, like, I don't have a lot on. Like, you'd think for such a dark color that it would be a lot more, like, a lot darker. Um, but the color is actually kind of wearable. Like, you know, if you were going to do a look with just some mascara and a darker lip, I would... I mean, this might be something that you'd want. But I'm sure that you can build up the color, too. So, this is kind of what it looks like on the lips. It's actually really pretty. I actually am quite, quite pleased with it. <laughs> I don't know why I just showed you the mirror. It probably blinded you. I'm sorry. Um, but, yeah, I actually... I'm quite a fan, and it actually doesn't feel like you don't, you don't feel like you have goopy lipstick on your lips, um, so, so far, so good. I'll have to, you know, actually wear it around to see how the color, you know, applies, or, like, withstands throughout the day, um, but 
first impressions, right now I really like it. I might have to, you know, look at the other shades in the line and maybe buy another shade. And so those are everything that I got in the March Ipsy bag. Here's the bag once again. Um, I got the Mary Kay at Play Eye Cran, the NYX Butter Lipstick, uh, the two um, eye gel things, um, the hair product, and the BB cream. Uh, so I'm super excited to use everything. I think my favorite product is the lipstick, and my least favorite product is probably the eye crayon. Um, just because I probably won't wind up using this color that often. Um, so yeah, let me know down below what you guys got in your Ipsy bags. I did see some really cool, like, highlighter products and eyeshadows. Actually kind of jealous. I wish I would have gotten those. Um, but let me know down below what you got in your Ipsy bag. I'll also have my link down below, um, in case you want to sign up and you haven't already. Um, and until next time, I will talk to you guys soon. Have a beautiful day. Bye.